Go for it. All right. Hi, folks. I hope you guys have all been enjoying SeaWorld. My name is Liam, and I want to talk to you guys about how sharks have almost become the top predator of the ocean. Sharks have had a body plan that's helped them out for the past 150 million years without changing very much. If we look at this fossil shark tooth, we'll see that it's actually very much similar to the teeth that we see in modern sharks today. Sharks go through about 20,000 teeth in their lifetime, and as they go through, they process and get new teeth that develop uh, behind the existing teeth. Now, even though we call these teeth, they're actually highly derived scales, the same ones that are on their skin that give them that same texture. Here, the past is So sharks also have many ways to help them detect their prey. First of all, they're able to feel vibrations in the water along the lateral line that runs along their body. Also, they have the ability to smell underwater, unlike us. And if that weren't enough, they also have these specialized pores at the tip of their nose called the ampullae of Lorenzini. These help them to detect electrical currents in the prey that are around them. This helps them to be able to hunt even at nighttime, which is one of their preferred times to hunt. Whenever they're pursuing their prey, they're able to move toward it very fast because they have a cartilaginous skeleton same type of material that's in your earlobe. This makes them incredibly lightweight and flexible and helps them move to prey quickly. They also have a highly muscular tail and they have this enlarged portion of their tail fin that helps give them lift, kind of the same way that it does on a jumbo jet. Whenever a shark does get close enough to its prey, it extends its jaws away from its mouth and bam, captures it. Sharks serve a very important role in our ecosystem. They're predators that help keep several species in check, such as fish, vertebrates, sea turtles, sea birds, and sea mammals. They also help provide food for scavengers in their environment. Now remember how I said that they weren't quite the top predator in the ocean? That's because it's us, humans. Humans end up over-harvesting sharks all the time for their fins, for shark fin soup. And on top of that, a lot of the seafood that we buy in our grocery every day was caught with nets that sharks can get tangled in. When they do get tangled in this way, sometimes they suffocate because some species have to keep moving in order to brush water over their gills. If we make a more concerned effort to look at sustainable seafood options, we can help to preserve this species. Remember, their survival depends on a whole other species, you.